Hello and welcome back, everybody. This is episode 28 of Arc 2 of Ooh. Better Than Heroes. I'm Rachel Weeks and I play Click, the level 8 Torcreen fighter. I'm Andrew Orbital and I'm not here today. <laughs> and I'm Jordan Dahl and I play the Moon Boy, a level 8 Moon Boy. I'm Aaron Eurist and I play Kai Hammerstein, the Artificer. And I'm Harlan Kelly. I play everyone else. <laughs> we have a very exciting announcement before we get into the game. We have another sure, special yeah. guest coming. Uh, my, I have a Magic the Gathering podcast called The Commander's Fear. My co-host on that show, a yeah. wolf book author and a D&D &D oh pro, Dan Sheehan, is going to be joining Woo! us next week. Woo! I've wanted to play D&D &D with Dan for so long. And it turns out He's all we had to do was start a whole Twitch show about it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's going to be a really fun and wacky episode. Dan's uh, makes for very fun D and D. If you want to get a flavor for his style, he uh, DM'd a short series of Magic uh, D and D that we did in Theros for our show. That series is called Good Vibes Only. Uh, check those out; they're a ton of fun. Uh, yeah. He's also on the dungeon. He's on. A, he's he, we did an interview with him to talk to about that specific podcast. So, I'm very excited to have him on. I'm gonna wear my shirt that's from his Go merch on. for the next week's episode. I'm gonna be. He's the all fan. over. Here, he give her to me. Good. He's all over the better than heroes her. verse. Do you have the wolf, the wolf shirt? No, I don't. I I have I'll, a. I'll wear the wolf shirt. Okay, cool. Let's all, all wear our Dan Sheehan shirts. Yeah. <laughs> Embarrass him. Free Dan yeah. merch for everyone who wears Dan merch. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I, uh, oh, go ahead, Arlen. We should. I just want to say I got a tiny peek at what he's thinking character-wise, and y'all should be excited. It's going to be good. Uh, I am excited. Well, joke's on you. I already was, but now I am. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> All right, let's get into this game. Uh, we're going to play some 5e Spelljammer-inspired Dungeons & Dragons tonight. But Ooh. first, uh, our show is brought to you by Big Top Productions. Big uh, Top! They make this all possible. They make sure that we can pay our wonderful live soundtrack artist, Jason Wardell. He's Big Top! Uh, and our director, Case Drury of Tiger Moon Productions, who... Uh, wow makes this all <laughs> watchable uh so good put put some dim notes in chat because they're great and now for last week's recap and now for last week's recap <laughs> last time on better than heroes in a pirate cove on the planet garden the party had defeated the captain of the bones pirates and his muscle and then revivified their own captain goliathan wrenching him back from a brief sojourn beyond death's own lonesome veil with the captain and deck crew of the Dinger safe, the party turned their attention to the remaining pirates. After a brief interrogation, the crew agreed to allow the survivors to live and learn that the pirate's ship was set to return in a few days. The crew confronted Talon about her willingness to bargain with the pirates against them in order to learn the secrets of the Dinger. She revealed that she suspected the helm of the Dinger was a powerful specimen called a Synapse Helm, which the Four Rings could use to fight to save the universe. She had withheld this motive out of a lack of trust in the party, which she claimed had changed and swore that they now had her complete confidence. Click had a heart-to-heart -heart with the bosun goat, suggesting that she could find a peaceful home here in this cove on Garden. Goat declined, saying that she preferred to stay at home on the dinger, but asked Click not to prioritize saving her over future missions. Click refused, and Goat remained nonetheless less. Later, Kai visited Goliathan in his chambers, which he entered for the first time. He gently demanded to see the Dinger's helm and learn her secrets once and for all. Goliathan reluctantly agreed, and after summoning the group, they all entered through a magic mirror to the helm's secret chamber. Within, they discovered a marvel beyond expectation, a sentient crystal helm who spoke to them and told them his name, Dingholm Nidris. Holy what? The helm is alive and has a really cool name. Are they nice? Do you think they like me? Find out right now on Better Than Heroes.
Nope. All right. So we, you all find yourselves. We're playing, deep. we're playing the game. We're playing the game. You all find yourselves deep inside of the hull of the dinger in a room that you've never been in before. And not that just that, a room that almost doesn't feel like it is a part of the dinger, as it is just dark and full of mist, but glowing from the corner here is this huge helm, this big glowing purple and blue source of light that is glowing with clearly magical energy uh, and it has this big grinning face that has looked down upon you and after chatting with Goliathan for a moment it has smiled and looked upon you and in the mist you all here in the room kind of standing behind Goliath and Goliathan is sat kind of like leaning on the edge down at the bottom of the helm here and the helm looks at you all and goes, Hello. He said, I know you all. I, it's, I've seen you. Click. Moon boy. Kai. What is he going by now? Wind rider? I've been so hopeful that one day we would meet. And we have. Here you are. Yes, the first people I've talked to in over a hundred years, besides this one. What brings you here? What? He looks at Goliath and why are they here now? I'm so excited. Let me, well, let me be, um, more courteous. I can't offer you a seat as I do not have any arms, but, um, I can offer you, uh, answers. I'm sure you have many questions and his face gets almost even bigger and he says I have a lot of answers. I'm going to walk forward sort of just speechless and sort of reach out unable to stop myself and touch this helm. Um, as you walk up to it, uh, Goliathan will kind of like stop you and he's like, maybe, uh, talk to it first. He says that there's, um, you know, it's a, there's a different connection when you make contact with, with the helm and the helm goes, that's true. If you, um, sync with me. I will know all of your thoughts. Whoa. I'll sort of catch myself right before I'm actually about to make contact. Okay, cool, yeah. Kill okay, like, I'm not saying you shouldn't do it at uh, you know, some point, but uh, he does know everything about you ever. Uh, <clears throat> and it's a whole thing. So, you know, I just want so to make sure you go the in. the whole time? Yes! Ah, I've been here as uh, for uh, as long as the dinger has been, I have been here. Um, Did he, does he, uh, do, do they does, does watch all the time? All the time? Like, no. No. No, I can only see around the ship when Goliathan is jamming. And then I can <laughs> see around it, but nice. <laughs> without you know, without his um, spells filling me up, then I cannot right. um, but yeah, see so, all right. throughout. But, but when you are jamming, you can like see in the bathroom and stuff. Yes, but I am not a creep, right. Moon Boy. Right, okay. That's cool. <laughs> I know. I, I I'm just saying, you know, yes. when you're everywhere, you're everywhere. It's true. But I, I close my eyes appropriately. Just There's I, eyes in the bathroom? Well, I am the eyes. <laughs> okay. The ship are, are my eyes when it's, the spell jamming is jamming. It's, fi it's fine. It's the answer's yes, and now I know that. And I'll just I can also it. see in there from the kitchen. You can see the bathroom as well. I mean, there's a little gap. It's, I don't know. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. The face gets real, I, like, stern and goes... 
We all poop, Moon Boy. It is okay. I know, but some of us are shy about it, and it's Do harder knowing poop? one person is watching, wait, wait, let wait, alone wait, wait. two. Yes, wait, what? Do, Do you? you poop? I do not poop. I was just trying to be. <laughs> I was just trying to be comforting. I um. I I, I appreciate it. I appreciate yes. it. It's, it's not we moral colloquialism. The that I know. No. You understand? You understand what it is to poop, and that's enough for me. And uh, now I just—it was a thought I had to get out. And now we know. Now we all know. I just spit. But only while <laughs> jamming, which is a good. Is, is a, a respite at least. I, I, I think the Moon Boy, after this moment, after this question has been cleared up, kind of a, a weird, lets some weird moment to pass, and then he's like, are you, are you what she says you are? Are you a, what was it? Synapse? Helm? Mm -hmm. Who is she? Talon. I Talon. have seen her. Trixie one. I, that's yes, right? But she's cool too, which is tough for me. I am a synapse hell. I, um. My nature is to absorb the thoughts and feelings of someone who connects with me so that I may hold on to more and more information. Uh, it, it makes me a good map. It makes me a, a valuable keeper of secrets and any information, and that is why I am dangerous to some. That is why Goliath keeps me hidden in here, because I know many things. Well, Talon wants to use you to help save world? What? Do you know no. Do you know anything about that? Goliathan jumps up at this point and he goes, what? What? I um, I don't know which, about that. Which world? She, that's what she was think. talking about. She, was, she said that we could use the helm to save the world. She did she say suspects. Like that. Everyone, everyone wants to use big and powerful things for Whatever means that they want. Talon's just one person. Uh, and if she's with the four rings, then she's, that's just one organization. And the helm doesn't go into anybody's hands for any purpose or or, or end goal, because that's how you get that's how you get in trouble. That's how you I get think, going on the on the wrong path, right? I right. Think Goliath the helm's is right. We're not suggesting that we've met. Give up the, we give up the ship. That's not point that lots of people with their own wanting to save their own worlds but if she knows who else I mean, we've been chased across the galaxy for just this ship alone right this is true you've gotten is it true a that a lot of trouble dinger can uh, i call you that i prefer the helm but uh... <laughs> Ding, ding, the dinger, ding hum nidris. Ding hum nidris. You want me to say it a few more times? I, it's un, I, I understand. I have, it, I have it written down. It's just Good. hard to pronounce with mandibles. Uh. <laughs> it's hard to pronounce without them. <laughs> Is it true that you came from another crystal sphere? Yes. Yes! Ah, I am... Uh, Goliath, and can I tell the story? I I have I haven't been able to speak to anyone for so long. Bill Hans, like, well, yep, I guess as long as you I, do it I, right. Can you can you still wear the hat? We like the hat when the story hat. When we, oh, when someone's staring. Yes. Goliath, and put put your hat on me. Put your hat on me for it. Goliath, and like you. I hate it when he makes me do this. Thank you. Pulls <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> <close> it. <laughs> I, I can't wear it. it with headphones. I truly need to get <laughs> new headphones just to be able to pull off the hat while I do it. So it's I'm pretty I'm good on the headphones. Because <laughs> I start paying more attention to balance <laughs> than telling. As long story. as, as long as in my mind's eye, I know that the the hat is on the chair. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. I, I feel confident that the at helm. some point Case is going to put up a picture of the <laughs> the helm with a little tiny cowboy hat on it. I just yeah. I feel like it's coming. I but we'll see. see. 
It is like there. Oh, she already did it. She already <laughs> did it. That's amazing. <laughs> That's amazing. Tiger Moon production, everyone. Get it just written. Lightning quick. Fast yeah. as a tiger. Bright as it the moon. <laughs> already written in the book of time. Um, so the helm is like, well, uh, we used to live on a, a great big ship, kind of like the one that you all snuck onto before. Uh, that the widowers had, but bigger. Uh, it was a, a flying fortress, they called it. Um, big old shimmering ship in the shape of a... a what was it? Gerlathan goes a sea creature. It's in the shape of a, shape of a sea creature. Yeah. And the helm's like, yes, it floated out in the middle of nothing, empty space, and um, they called it the Cradle, as Gerlathan has told me. It was a shipyard... Um, but not like, uh, of the ocean, obviously. <laughs> many folks used many more volatile materials than wood and cloth and such when they were crafting these ships, ships powered by things like me. Um, and as Goliathan would tell it to me, that everybody dreamed of leaving the cradle, riding a ship to another world, never having to do a daily routine. And Goliathan goes, okay, okay, okay. He's like, let me t- let me tell this part. He's like, it was just rough up there, you know. You, you always had to. Everybody was grinding or melting or hammering something. Everybody had, and everybody had a big plan about uh, getting off the ship, getting getting out of there eventually. And they were, everyone's had a dream of making a new kind of ship or getting some sort of shape in metal or infusing magic or whatever to barter with the arcane, the group that ran the place and get a ship and get on out of there. And, but they're a vicious bunch, you know. They're quiet about it, but and some people used to think that they are they were a lineage, but they'll take any being into the arcane as long as they've got what it takes, you know. Morph them into what they are. A bunch of giants turn themselves blue, kind of like a tattoo. But um, not me, though. I, I didn't mess with any of that when I was up there. <laughs> I, until I met, you know, Dingamidris. Uh, I used to clean one of the workshops on the cradle, and uh, one day uh, the best tidier on the ship. Um, you know, it was around my I was, it was around my third century. And the the best tidier on the ship, he uh, ate a weird soup. He left out too long, so I had to fill in for him. He ended up cleaning all these rooms that I ended up cleaning all these rooms I'd never seen before. And that's where I ended up meeting the hell. Oh, yes. Um, you heard me talking under a sheet. Uh, curiosity got the best of him and he peeked under. Couldn't help it. I, I loved that about Goliath. And at the time, um, I couldn't speak common, but uh, luckily he saw the, the markings on me and uh, tried to run. And Goliath was like, yes, run. When I was a kid, I thought it was funny to learn a dead language, especially one you could use to talk to rocks. So, Tehran's the language I had learned in school. Language of the rock <laughs> elementals. Um, anyway, these rock, you know, these markings, got, they got a lot of common with Dwarvish anyway. Just, a, you know, stone man's languages are sure. all kind of the same. Stone and, man's. Uh, <laughs> and it's so, like the helm is like... Spanish thing. Close. Sure. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's all. It's all in the <laughs> accent. Yeah. Of the, the rock more creatures. Th- yeah. 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 Um. And so one's guttural and one is just stones rubbing against each other. So. Um, Stone Mance didn't get the love that it deserved. It's just for. Just for <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um. And the helm is like and yes and. Gerlath and I spoke about what I was and what I was created for and and I, I did not want to be used for opening doors that were just going to let in poison so I um, gave him some of my abilities so that he could finagle me out and he did he did me a great service and I will be forever in his debt for freeing me from a lifetime of just being bopped around for destruction. And 
didn't. Mm. Since then, I've, I've followed Goliathan's rules. We have, because I trust him that he, this is what is necessary to keep me safe and keep me out of the hands of those who would use me for great evil. But, um... He's gotten you this far. Yes. It's true. It's true. He's done an amazing job. I would, I owe him my everything. Um, so yes, here I am now, just wandering about, moving things from one planet to another, and it's been quite an exciting blip on my life to um, watch what you all have done with the ship. Do you know who created you? Yes. Um, the, I was made from the consciousness of uh, another being. That is, um, its information was fused throughout me. But uh, here I am now from it. Something else, something different. Um, I do not think I am that thing, but whoever you knows... Know do you remember that thing's name? Or who did the fusing? Hmm. I do know that um, it was a, a, a great creature, a giant creature that um, sat about thinking all of the time. It was its only uh, hmm. request, its only desire was to, to sit and think. And as for That's my creator, um, it was definitely one of the arcane, a master smith of sorts. And uh, I know that there are none like me, or at least very few, uh, have, none that I have come across. Have we, uh, just out of character, have we heard of these uh, arcane before? Is this the type of thing that's thrown around wild space? I was about to ask that same Let's, thing. I would love for all three of you to roll. Just go ahead and roll a history check. It's a difficult one, that. but um, it does kind of the, scale. So then, let me know. Then the moon boy will be giving himself guidance. Cool. Give me a little flavor. What? What's? How does that guidance showing up with you? I think uh, his hat kind of just, you hear like a... And a puff of white light shoots out from under it. It hovers for just a second, like it farted <laughs> almost. <laughs> Great. I love uh, it. <laughs> he sparkles with moon dust. I have an 11. Okay, cool. An 11 on history there. What else? Run down the... 24. Run down the list for me, if you could, real quick. It's a 24 Eight. from Kai. 18. That's okay, what cool. looking for. Um, yeah, so the... Uh, the 18 will get you that you remembered it before. Like, you remember someone mentioning it before. Um, and, uh, click, you think that maybe the arcane are, um, like a space pirate crew, I think, is what I'm sure. going to go with. Like, you can, like, kind of remember. Heard of yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Like a type of, a type of chip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and then, uh, Kai, you have heard mention of them and I think that we can even say with the 24 that you've heard them mentioned as uh, when you were in back in the workshop, um, kind of operating sans corpus without, you know, without your body, that you, uh, <laughs> you remember them being mentioned as great creators, kind of like a, a an organization that makes spell jamming helms and has the mm -hmm. ability to come and go throughout dimensions because of this and they are very powerful because they are most uh organizations main access to gaining more <coughs> spell jammer helms and you've heard him mentioned before by power face specifically who got kind of pouty about you all um ditching the nautiloid because he's always wanted access to something like that and has not been allowed it I thought you were talking about in my past. So it's like, I've met Powerface before. <laughs> <laughs> we played a lot of DD games together. Friend, uh, I do like face. crossover. <laughs> hey, uh, do I know if my former master did any business with the arcane? Um, I think you don't know for sure. Uh, you might have to 
um, talk more to Dingham Nevis <coughs> if you wanted to suss it. You've never heard that name be used directly as something that he uh, that you would recognize, but with a yeah. 24 and him mentioning <coughs> blue giants, it does ring a bell as you have definitely seen a blue giant before. So oh, you, oh. it's it definitely mm. clicks up something like like Aaron's reaction to that Aaron being like this feels like it makes sense. Also, Kai is having that same response of like oh. it feels like this would make sense yeah, because of the blue giant conversation. Interesting. So okay. is is the helm made out of the consciousness of one of these things? <laughs> um. Or is that some shit that you don't ask someone? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think that. Uh, um, I, yeah, I think I that the that, the helm would tell you that it's made out of uh, the mind of a contemplator, <coughs> um, which is a being in and of itself. It's not just like a a regular noun; it is a proper noun, something called the contemplator, and yeah. just to um, let's have you, let's have a. Uh, one more round of history checks just for fun. Yeah. You know what? Do it with a blessing. The moon boy blessing all of us. This is a bigger <coughs> fart from under the hat. What does blessing do? You, you, get, you get a, a plus D4. four. Yeah. Yeah, you get to add a D4. Yeah. So, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Roll a yeah. D4, not plus four. Twelve. Eleven. Damn. Oh, I forgot to roll. Hang on. <laughs> That's <coughs> awful. Great. Um, yeah, you all have never heard of this being ever before. Um, and it is just really Dingham, Dingham Nidris' only description of it is a, a gigantic creature that sits around and thinks. Wow. Um, and he kind of can't give you much more than that either. Spelljammer whips ass. <laughs> it does. <laughs> I'm just picturing I, the thinker but blue, like the statue. Huh? That's, that's it. Huge. That's all it is. Yeah. But also, like, yeah. it's like Dr. Manhattan <laughs> but the thinker. That's it. Yeah. All, all Wang, full Wang Manhattan. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, naked for sure. <laughs> but, like, hurtling through space, the size mm. of a planet, jungles growing on it. Crazy. Um, and now it's here. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, Kai's going to look up at this, at um, <coughs> Nidris and say, um, I'd like to cast a spell. Is that all right? Oh, please. I love spells. I'm going to cast Identify. Okay. On, this on the helm itself? Yeah. Great. Right. Um... Does it just for the make me explode? <laughs> <laughs> Does, it hate it? Does it hate me? <laughs> Too much input. <laughs> it's totally possible. I don't know what is going to happen if Kyle yeah touches this thing. Is this like yeah, pointing a, like a mirror at a mirror? Um, let me just peek at this real quick. Uh, That's a really interesting and, and kind of scary <laughs> thought. <laughs> Okay, so if it is a magic item or some other magic computer object, you learn its properties and how to use them, whether it requires attunement to use and how many charges it has, if any. So, yeah, as you um, give us a little bit of flavor on what your identify spell uh, looks like, and then we will, I will jump into exactly what you learn. Um, Kai holds up his hand, and a little slot opens up in which there is a t little luminescent pearl, and it's sort of cast this shimmering scan over this helm as um, I look at its matrix numbers. Cool. Yeah, and it, it, it really is like that. You see all of these runes that light up throughout it and it kind of they kind of like pull out and especially with your ability to understand languages as you get used to them like very quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, you start to see a pattern to them and this isn't exactly the um the spell here but um i want to read you what these runes say as soon as i find them yes. in my notes um so someone stall for me real quick someone someone <laughs> tell me what what they're experiencing as i so i can get these notes 
Um, I think it makes sense because I sort of imagine that Kai kind of sees in like zeros and ones all the time sure. anyway. Sure. sure. This is the, the, the first time it looks like something else. Mm. Oh. It looks like. Looks a little bit like me. Hey, <laughs> we got a raid from Paradise RPG. Paradise Thank you guys no. so much. Paradise. Hi, Ray. Welcome, Our everybody. Old friends. Thanks, Our old Paradise, friends you are coming in at quite a moment. We are uh, learning all about the helm. Yeah, uh, stuff is happening. How, the helm is apparently made from the consciousness of something called a contemplator, so it is... A con they are it's conscious. Con a new Contemplative. A new yeah. crew member, really, of sorts An that ha ca member. that can see in the bathrooms. We've determined, but only <laughs> whilst only whilst jamming. Only whilst um, yeah. Um, so there's a, okay, a so sentient jelly bean that's been driving the ship for uh, a year, and we just met him. <laughs> a sentient um, jelly bean chair, absolutely. Yeah, I do like that they they come and hang out for the second half like half of the show. It's it's very nice. Thanks for being here. Um, so yeah, you you learn that this is a uh, like you obviously know that it's a sentient spell jammer helm, but um, your magic kind of tells you that if there is a kind of like blurring between you and it, the uh, as you see the air around you, it kind of like shimmers and starts to blur. So you uh, and what that tells you is that. If someone touches this and attunes themselves to it, uh, then the helm has a chance to gain all of your memories, everything you've ever thought and experienced before. It also knows those things too, which would just happen automatically. Um, that you know enough about arcane magic to know that um, any sort of absorption like that there comes a risk with it that doesn't necessarily mean that it is a malicious or destructive act, but it could be something that harms you because it's just like a, you know, nosebleed brain situation. Um, and what, what if a, what if a being that is an intelligence made entirely out of magic touches it, then what's going to happen? Do I, have any I don't, idea? I don't think your spell, I don't think your spell tells you that. Um, no, no, no. I'm not asking because of the spell. I'm asking that Kai, this is what Kai is wondering. Like what is there like, it could learn all of Kai's experiences and memories. Is there any chance of like a vice versa thing happening? Catastrophic. So, or yeah. Is it like, gonna be a like the Universal. hydrogen collider or yeah. am I gonna <laughs> tear a hole in reality yeah. like um let's have you roll an arcana check <laughs> do it with guidance please okay <laughs> I'll cheese it Kai is just it. sort of staring up and looking at this thing <laughs> actually like, technically you're still he could you're use still blessed help. if it's within a minute okay. yeah it definitely is it's pretty good uh, what does Bless give me? A D4? Extra D4. It's not cheese. It's not cheese. This is what I do. I buff. You're right. What'd you get? 26, and I'm going to use a flash of genius. If there was ever All a right. time, this is it. So that's going to bring it to 31. Oh, okay. what? Goodness. Oh, boy. I love it when you roll so high. Because I can just be like, okay, so here is the thing. Uh, <laughs> it was, I mean, the role Finally. is on sort of an esoteric, magical question. So we can whatever yeah. you want to do with that. Stop with me, pussy. I think there is around there, it with with this high of a role. I think you know there's no danger to it besides the danger that any mortal being would experience, which is that when something absorbs this much information, you could lose something in the process. Uh, you have you would be susceptible to that in the same way a mortal does and it wouldn't sort of like rip a hole in the world or anything like that but um there is a similarity to your existence to this thing's existence um in the sense that it is a consciousness a magical consciousness held by a, a physical composition in this world and so um, you know, I don't want to tell you what your character feels, but with a 30 here, there is, uh, some sort of identification of what you are and what it is as being very similar. 
I will say. Yeah. Um, and there's no, there's kind of no secret besides that. It is just that these two consciousness in, in, exist inside of these shells in different ways and that they're very much the same. And um, kind of like in this moment too, the uh, Terran starts to make sense to you and you see written throughout it, uh, it's this helm's carved into this helm all throughout is this phrase that continues on multiple times it kind of bleeds into each other and it says the sky is full of wonder what is happiness but to be awed forever at least in this moment there are many others a never-ending world let this be a bridge um and as i that read is, it i'm gonna say that out loud the sky Can is you full send of wonder that to us harlan i absolutely yes. can send, and, I also send it to us wanna... and i'll read it right now also okay <laughs> Um, very nice. I just yeah. want to see it. It's great. I it. <laughs> no, I I want to hear a I want to hear Aaron read it. So I'm gonna put it uh, in our chat here in our Discord chat. Um, I'll drop it in chat here too, so you can see it. But um, if you want to go sure. ahead and read it, I would love to hear you read yeah, it. Yeah, Kai still has his hand out and is sort of doing these equations, at, you know, while he's casting identify and having his mind blown. <laughs> And he'll yeah read it out as he as it starts to as he starts to piece it together from looking. The sky is full of wonder. What is happiness but to be awed forever? At least in this moment, there are many others. In a never-ending world, let this be a bridge. And when Kai says that last, Ding Hom Nidris goes, If I could clap, I would. Very good. I'm going to have to get you some hands. <laughs> I would love Ooh, I some mean, hands. I mean. Is that an option? He, he looks over at Gorilla. <laughs> Can I have hands? Uh, the Moon Boy <laughs> is, is like, yeah, he, builds, he builds. He builds all kinds of things. And points at Kai. He could build big sh arms for the ship. He built a, a coat for it, for the underside that makes it invisible. Oh, yes, the the murderoid uh, hurt me. Yes. Was yes, it your decision trick. to go down the tunnel that we shouldn't have gone down? Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I remember that. one. Oh, no, I did two. That was definitely yours, Clay. That I was the... Uh... No, that was because <coughs> I rolled a very low... Convincing. Oh, uh, that's check. that's Persuasion correct. You're right. Check. That's that was Goliath's bad decision, wasn't it? Right. Goliath. Yeah, that, that was my bad. <laughs> sure, Take my Goliath life. all day, and I warned him as well. I told him not to do it. Yeah, yeah. we did try. Oh. <laughs> yeah. We were upside down. Sorry about that. That must have been yeah, uncomfortable down here for you. Sorry. Spooky. I, I've never felt upside down before, and I did in that moment. Spooky. Yeah. Do you feel the pain of the ship? Yes, I do. As does Goliath when he is attuned to me. Mm. There Quite is unpleasant. I, I know we all, we all have lots more questions, and uh, I'm sure we'll get to ask them, but there is the, uh, the problem of Talon. She doesn't know, and she's not... I mean, obviously we're not going to give her the ship, but she's not going to like that. She's kind of a the word uh, pain in the ass about things sometimes you said she's sneaky helm what do you what did you mean by that mm, she i've seen her trying to peek into your hat moon boy <laughs> i've what? seen her yes she's poked around you at night um the do you remember once when she um you found her looking into your barrel at night. Yes. I thought it was a dream. She got close to a couple of times to trying to sneak in there and look at your hat. So okay, well, we're trapping the barrel. Um, <laughs> wise move, in my opinion. Trapping the barrel. Simple as that. But she also was just asking so many questions about who I am, and Goliath informed me that 
Um, you know, he, he's made it clear that I should keep secret. I should be hidden for now, so just I just view her as pokey. I think so that's more and more the more I think about it. We've met, How many people have we met who would kill for this power? Who would, if it's not talent, then who's next? Who wants to use it for whatever purpose? I, it just, I see it. It never ends. But we can't Talon also not... also saved our lives. Talon did save our lives, and we can't not save the, the universe if it's good. The, you know, the moon is in the universe, and all of us as well. So, I don't know. Perhaps she'll settle for us for knowing that we will never let this ship fall into the wrong hands. Perhaps. Perhaps that would be enough. No, I doubt it. Perhaps she'll settle for our help. Perhaps. What do you want to do, Helm? What do you... What do you want after all these years? Click! It's so nice of you to ask. Look how sweet you are. You're so tough. You're so... <laughs> Brave! I see you out there so many times, being strong and and leaping up and down, and uh, and yet you come here asking me what I want and need. This is the sweetest. I... She's so embarrassed. Immediately regrets asking. Uh... You are so you're so tender at heart, even though you you try hard to keep up that thick carapace. I see it. When no one is watching, I see it. So, I mean, um, carapace care is a serious issue for the crane. You have well, to use yes. oils and unguents. I am One using time. a metaphor. Is that something? Is that are those still popular? I haven't. I only <laughs> spoken to Goliath yes. in the last hundred years. So, I was making a joke, which is similar to a metaphor. Goliath, you never tell me jokes. <laughs> No. Oh, a joke is like a metaphor that white people use to be immune from criticism. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Is that what it oh, says on the other hell? <laughs> is that what it says on a different hell? <laughs> Sorry. That was, Aaron. that was Aaron there for a second. <laughs> he killed more crowd in his way in. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Oh, I gotta um, recover for that. I do um, like the idea that the helm is in here being jealous of Click's ability to leap up and down. That seems like a very <laughs> chair thing to be jealous of. <laughs> Look at her bouncing around up there. Moving around. They're leaping. standing. <laughs> well, get you a um, pair of like, air moon boys and just float the chair. Yeah, whoa. <laughs> Tensor's floating yeah. moon boy. Uh... <laughs> She looks at you, click. Uh, he looks at you, click, and he's like, "I want to create something. I want to have hands to be more than a ship. I I know that I am built to move this thing around, but there were. I came from a fortress that was a spell jammer, but not a zipping and zapping ship, but a." much bigger thing. I could be... My power could be not to move a ship about, but to move many more things about to, to create something. I... Um... Mm -hmm. Yes. So sweet of you to ask. You want, you want to... Can I ask you a question now, Click? I suppose. Do you think that your psionics would work on me? Do you think they are a spell? I don't know. Um, would you like me to try? Yes, very much so. You've connected to her home before. I have. Um, I'm trying to think of what the best way to do this is. Well, if you touch um, me and attune to me, I'm, I'm, uh, you instantly attune if you do. And Kerlathan's like, well, now let's take a second here. And 
Uh, how about I just use, I'm just going to use the Omnipathy engine and I try and read the psionic imprint of a target's emotions. So she's just going to sort of probe for her mind. Um. Okay, make a uh, wisdom saving throw. Yeah. Yikes. It's actually okay. Say again? Um... So that's actually okay. Uh, 17. Okay, cool. I'm going to do a contested roll against that real quick. I'm going to roll for the helm itself, which I don't want to say that, like, this isn't a peek into its, um, you know, intentions. This is more of just a sure, mechanic yeah. here, but I am going to yeah. roll as a result here. So, um, which we're going to put a, a very nice, cool, we, I've been rolling on the fun dice, dice game, game. But, I made a little weird contraption to ow, roll for ow. it this week, and it's out of cardboard. It's very strange. We'll post a picture of it later. Um, but <laughs> the most important thing about it is it works. I, can roll. I love the dice slide. <laughs> the dice uh, slide! Fantastic. Yeah. It is truly a dice slide, so let me... Dice, dice slide! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Do I need to adjust it here? Can I move it? No, we, got, we, we oh, saw it. I saw it. it. Oh, no, great. we saw it. You get that, too. That, too, is what it is. You take that, too. <laughs> Are you sure you only roll? Oh, no, that's it. Sure no. <laughs> I've seen that. Oh, the, it was out of focus. Who screen yeah. grabbed it? Uh. <laughs> oh, man. Case put it up. Case put it up with Dice X Machina, too. Very good. Very good. Nice. Um, so, yeah, and you feel this just, like, static, kind of like when you reach out for this consciousness, usually you can feel something that's more like a hum of mortal mm. thoughts. But uh, here it is just like uh, a radio being spun very quickly uh, through different channels until it focuses in and you can feel um, a couple of different voices just be like, yes, and then there's this that you have to consider, which is that... Um, psionics are not necessarily of the arcane nature, and you were, they were built for to be the arcane nature. And then you hear another voice go, "Man, nah, that's true." But also, there, you know, <laughs> it is still creating things that are connecting with the world around it in a more, um, you know, metaphor. And it, it like switches again to, "But you know, there's also you got to uh, factor." And then it just like kind of you can hear a conversation happening internally with. Um, is it our Discord? <laughs> Talking um, about psionics, <laughs> <laughs> and, and and so quick. I mean, you can, and that's what you get. Is it, it, it is definitely a consciousness, but you can just hear a bunch of voices kind of like chatting mm -hmm. very quickly together. I, wow, there's so many of you in here. Is it always this crowded? Um, are you saying that out loud? Yeah. Uh, she'll send a telepathic message. Okay, cool. Um, you see it's the big eyes of the helm kind of like <laughs> over to you and it's like says back to you quiet down yes um, when you have uh, many lives worth of thoughts and memories recorded inside of you going through them is a difficult task that requires conversation and processing so it is often this chattery inside of me. Um, I, I suppose if that makes sense, if you're the contemplator, it's nice to know that you haven't been alone in here all this time. Well, it's true. I have many lives inside of me. That is, and that is a certain type of cure for loneliness. You are wise too, young click. Oh, I just, I wish I had hands now so I could ruffle your antennas just oh so gently. <laughs> just a, a little, oh, oh, oh. It's, it's impressive the multitudes that you contain inside of you. Does your chatter ever slow down? No, I suppose not. Well, I'm Need learning to focus it, though. Kai's helping. Yes. And Where did you learn to do this? It says again telepathically to you. What? To, to speak with you? Telepathically? Yes. 
I suppose I've always known how to do it. It's something mm -hmm. that my people are born with. It's it's something I was expected to learn. When when I was cast out, they deemed me unworthy of it, but it's here nonetheless. Yes. So I suppose I'm self-taught. <laughs> yes. Well, myself as well, because I do not know anyone else like me. Um, and that is why I wish to create something, so I can create something like me. To be different from me, but share my experience with um, the chatter. Kind of nods what would you make? Like a, like a footstool or like a, st a rug? <laughs> I don't know. I, whatever I make, I would give it hands so it could, um, it could have what I could not. It's lovely. Thank you. And Girl, I was like, so uh, this is getting awkward. We're all just sitting here and not saying anything. Uh, <laughs> uh, you guys want to go? We can go. I don't know if this is, I don't know if he offended you or what, but I'm just, I don't want it to be weird. So I'm just talking because we've been sitting in silence for a while. So I think Click and the Helm are talking. I think Click Jordan just sort of quietly comes out of Sorry. her, out of her, uh, brain and just says I like him I like him too I don't know why it's like a big bean bag I stare. have no beans yeah. within me damn it there goes that theory. nice to put a face to a name well <laughs> it's nice to put um you in this room We'll, we'll work on the metaphors. <laughs> All right, let's, let's not get septic here. Come on, come on. You know, Goliath, and there was, for a, for a second, there was a, uh, a theory going around that this was a, a death helm. <laughs> well, well, no, I would, do, I would never do that. You, you know, you had to, what the hell, moon boy? You have to trap someone in there and suck I their life from them slowly and keep them alive. Why else are you keeping corrupted Cobble around? My thoughts, well, and I think he, they walk out arguing. <laughs> Yeah, when you say that about Cobble to you, Click, uh, the helm's like, oh, 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 that's a joke. Oh, oh, Cobble, she's annoying. Oh. <laughs> I get that. Um, nice, yeah. nice. Well, the helm's in on it. <laughs> come, come back and visit. And if um, if any of you ever want to take me for a spin, you know where I am. <laughs> Well, we'll, we'll talk about that. Gorlithan kind of yeah. was like, Is there a me way to get here that isn't through Gorlithan's bedroom? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure we could um, arrange that. Uh, Gorlithan, which, are, you, are you at the point where you're comfortable putting another door in? Well, maybe, but. Okay, it's a secret door. Ka, can be. you can you do that? I feel like that's a you thing. It'd have to be incredibly secret. I can make a door. It would have to be, otherwise uh, Talon will uh, be poking about. Yes. Is there anything else you need? Dingham need dress? Mm -mm. Hands. Uh, yes. I would like to... Um, you know, I just enjoy seeing things, but I am, you know, I seek a day where I am no longer needed and I no longer have to hide and can be left to think alone with others who visit me, such as yourself. So, um, peace is what I need. Mm. I understand that is a complicated thing to ask, but I'm just... You ask. And it's also good. hands. It's good to keep in mind. Peace and hands. That's, peace yeah. and hands. That's why you always see the symbol when people say peace. If two hands shaking. That's why. It's, it's a reference to me. You, you go hand what, in hand. 
Sounds I love the awesome. idea that the helm just thinks peace is having hands. It's having <laughs> hands. It's like, what? I've seen the logo. It's hands. <laughs> like old granddad always used to say, peace is having hands. Yeah. Yeah. Especially, especially when he got real old. <laughs> yeah. He said that a lot. That's about all he said, actually. Just kind of mm-hmm. became the only thing. <laughs> Shouted, really. Anyway. <laughs> then he used to say, you want a piece of these hands? Right. <laughs> um, um, so, yeah, if you kind of like, um, the the dinger kind of like gets sleepy a little bit. It's like, well, I'm going to, you know. Oh, goodness. Hi. I've not talked so much in a while. I think I need a moment here. And Gulen's mm-hmm. like, yeah, well, <laughs> me too. And um, kind of like ushers you out and he's like we'll come back we'll come back don't worry about it and as the light kind of like flickers away a little bit and he ushers you all out through the mirror and it you know drops its form and he pulls it back up and um as you all walk through the mirror you can just hear like a as someone is knocking on the door and you hear uh the voice of whipper whipper the penguin being like hey um guys we uh we got something to talk about. What what Wait, the hell are you doing? Whipper. Answer. What do you mean? Are you heckling my voice? That's not what Whipper the Penguin sounds like. I, I you're right. I was just doing the, the helm for so long that I was having trouble coming out of it. You're right, Jordan. You're right. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I thought maybe you said the wrong name. I first of all, I wasn't sure that Whipper was on the ship with us. She's sure not wasn't before, but she is currently oh. now. She is charged. Um, yeah. Oh. And she's My like, bad. yeah, come on, come on, let's go. Uh, well, I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm now feeling self-conscious about it. I'm sorry. Way. No, no, no. I appreciate I'm that so you're applying sorry. the meta voice knowledge to be like, I don't trust this whipper. I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was, I thought it was, uh, um, oh, who's our Goliath? Bosun. Go, go. Goat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You're right. Goat. I slipped it. I was trying to come out of Dingamidris and went into goat. You're, you're, you're I, right. And now it's become a whole thing. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, but uh, yeah. So Whipper is knocking at the door, and let's let's cut to break real quick so I can get all my voices <laughs> set. So, um, cool. All right, we'll be back. We're gonna take a five minute break where we drink Bye. pee. We drink pee, and then we'll be back in just a second. See you soon.
So you emerge from the misty mirror. Um, it seals itself back up as you hear a banging on the door here. And you hear Whipper's voice be like, Well, hello? 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 <laughs> Sorry, I'm selling my voice in my throat before. <laughs> because I've been screaming here at the door uh, and try to get a hold of you. What is going on? Uh, that's, her. that's for sure. <laughs> uh, I just in your yeah. voice anyway. <clears throat> Hold on just a second. He, op he opens the door, and you see this just like very disgruntled penguin and Talon and both goat standing behind her, and they're both like, well, we can really we must have to do. Um, and she's like, well, what? I hear disposed of the captain. Uh, we disposed of him? Yes. You know, I mean, yes. He fell. It wasn't really like a Foles hat rash situation. Okay, yes, he's gone. Yes. yes. We killed yes. him in battle. Yes. Yes. I heard you I, um had a Let's go up on deck there. so we're let's not go up on deck so we're not all standing in this doorway. <laughs> Girl oh, in yes. bedroom. <laughs> and now we're trying to sleep, so if you don't mind, shuts the yeah. door. <laughs> um, no, uh, upstairs. Still very early in the day, all right? I've kept track of this. Um, she, she's like, sure, yes, I, I don't mean to be rude yeah. and be barging around in your, your ship, but you did just um, dispose of the leader of our settlement, so um, I, we have some things to discuss. I, I mean, technically, when we disposed of him... We were the leadership of the set. Anyway. That, that's, I mean, that's probably what we should discuss. I think it that I would point. like to be a, the, a mayor of, of the cove, because I'm told mayors get sashes. I, I can get you a sash, she says. She, she like puts her flippers up in the air as she walks upstairs. She's like, you hear that? Yeah, do they want a sash? A sash! <laughs> and she uh, waddles up to the top of the deck here. And you all can all be out here, and you see Cobble just like peering down over the top of the uh, crow's nest, and Relic too is like, conf he's like at the at the ballista shooter, but like confused on if Whipper is a threat or not. And so everyone is just out on deck here now. Relic's and entire vibe in my mind is like a greaser whose jacket doesn't fit very well. He's, he's so trigger happy. It's hilarious. He's like trying to be tough, but like uh, kind of uncomfortable. Yeah, he's pulls like most rockabilly people. And, pulls out a switchblade and clicks it, and the blade shoots all the way out. Shoots off in his face. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I'm, I, I that. That's all canon. Yeah. That's happened off camera. Um. <laughs> Um, so yes, yeah, she, uh, she kind of like puts her flippers on her hips and is like, so what is it then? Are, are you all taking, are you all volunteering for the captain position? Is this, is this what I hear? Are you all, um, do you have demands of the city? What? I, You're back in charge again. I, well. I don't think we're going to be captain. Yeah, I think we sort of whipper, and I don't mean to speak put words in anyone else's mouth here, but we sort of decided that there's not going to be a captain of the cove anymore, and everyone's going to look out for each other. And uh, you know, we 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 did save the day, so we'll probably get rounds of applause and songs written about us and stuff. We'll be the de facto leaders, but no, it's just going to be kind of a place. We were thinking about, well, a move in the Cove's business model in general, away from piracy. Right. Hmm. What do yes. you think about that? Well, I think that if we break our oath, um, that we will be swallowed by hell itself. Um, that's my own Pirate? worry. That's Go ahead and worry my table. Go ahead and expand on that for me. <laughs> sure, sure. I, I would be happy to. She says, like, and, like, just pulling out down, like, just like shaking down feathers out. This I, I have some follow-up questions to what you've just said. <laughs> I imagine you would. Um, we have we have to elect a new captain, so that may mean we may 
continue to build a hoard here of treasure, or else we will break the centuries-old oath that we have taken um, to the original Githyanki settlement that is the bones are founded on. You spoke to the one who came before who called it, um, you know, uh, some, you know, we are, we're just, just the bones now, but as we have kind of shirked our, uh, our Gith Yankee fate. founding past, but, but, yes, there, we, there are still oh, obligations that we have to uphold, or else, uh, um, they, they send folks to well, remind us of our obligations. Maybe Who's they just... here? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Infernal, uh, entities. Um, from the, ah. the hell mouth of sorts that this this place is built upon. Um, <laughs> there are Kith Yankee who, ca who came here and settled this place and made a, a deal with a, a devil for mm. it to function and to be successful. In order to do that, we have to um, fulfill our duties. Which is acquiring a horde of treasure? And souls, yes. And souls. Yes. So for the, I think we're gonna be done with that too. Yeah. Well, maybe. Wonderful. Mm. That would be great for us if anyone could do it, but no one can. To, uh, I've seen all sorts of folks melted trying to getting you've up seen, to these ideas. You've seen people. Well, have people have tried in the past. Yes. They they get altruistic <laughs> ideas. And that they can just make it go away and they get melted. Or... Hmm. It is my I... job to, you know, I, I, I oversee uh, this process here and there and, and we keep the evil at bay so that we can continue. Uh, Moon Boy, you raise your hand. I have a question about the melting. Do you have any of the <laughs> melted people still? <laughs> And could we no, they tend to be consumed by the fires of the hell. It just can I it do just, an just inside happen? check? Can I figure oh. out like like can I see what yeah, the hell what is going on this here? This was it would be <laughs> yes. so funny if this was one hundred percent bullshit. <laughs> yeah, I just why. I just want just, to see how much she believes this, and uh, yeah, but we're just gonna uh, and I'm gonna use my uh, omnipathy engine to. Yeah. Uh, use Neuropath so I get advantage yeah. on an insight check. Still bad at insight checks, but I get two tries. <laughs> cool. So that's yeah. Do it to it while you're doing that. Shout out to uh, Sarah, our mod in chat, who banned a bot. You know, just got a shout yeah. out to the, the mods when you can. Um, uh, yeah. So you're the the contraption that Kai built for you. Kind of hums with this psionic mm. and static. Uh, as it's pushed a bit and is functioning, and what did you get there? A 14. Uh, a 14? Um, Case, would you mind throwing up the Oh, wait, I had my proficiency mo modifier. Hang on. Uh, there 17. It is. Yeah, yeah. yeah, 17. 17. Sorry. Um, that's really helpful. <laughs> I think that's what it does, right? Is it lets you. It gives me advantage and then adds a. Yeah, she gets a plus Gain five. Gain advantage on an insight check. If you're not proficient in the insight skill, you may add your proficiency. So, yes. Amazing. Um, yeah, Aaron, or Kai built you quite the thing for these moments. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it, this is like letting your psionics just kind of like leak into the world a little bit and get more yeah. inside in this situation. So I'm going to roll a, a contested check, and she has a plus sure. five to this. You don't know if it's persuasion or deception, but that she is very uh, charismatic. Ooh, look at that. Um, oh! Oh! Oh, never mind. <laughs> with, a 20, with a 25, you are very sure that everything she is telling you is exactly the truth. And I'll say, wow. I mean, th that this could be deception or insight. So, um, sure, yeah. I we mean, or know. persuasion. So, But Click is very sure that she is telling the truth. So she is quite in a uh, fluster here. Um, you, you've seen her kind of be very cagey and composed and just kind of... Uh, like almost uh, just like coy and here mm. she is not she is just like urgently trying to tell you as much as she can yeah okay Wait. well i so uh, 
how do you do you have to collect them through piracy through yes. treasure and like by murdering and stealing stuff and like, no we, we oh. collect them by them living here and oh, wait but the, so wait, when people treasure? die what? here they get sucked into the hell it's uh, it's just a more of a corruption you know we we provide oh, a then place that's for fine no we're not doing that okay well um if you all are want to be in charge here and you want to make these decisions for people, I can tell you I have seen what happens when we push back against um, the Hellmouth. So if you want to push back against the Hellmouth, I'm just going to tell you tonight there will be consequences to it. If we do not name a new captain by sundown, there will be consequences. What will happen? What if, what if you're captain? I don't want to be captain. Why not? Because then I am responsible for delivering, and I cannot deliver. I merely account. Just hypothetically, what would happen if we don't name a captain? Would someone show up? Mm. They'll start taking children. Mm. That's oh, not well, good. We don't want that. What if we were to send someone into this hellmouth and renegotiate with this uh, demon? Um, sure. I mean, if you can find someone. Yeah. There's only uh, one person who I know who has uh, gone in and come back. Who's that? Alive. Um, I can introduce you to him, but I have to find him first. He's uh, hard to track down, even in the city. I think we would like to speak with them. I think so. I, I definitely don't think we should. I mean, dis disappearing kids, that's that's a problem. The, the meltings, do they happen uh, spontaneously? Just like, here I am, eating breakfast. No, it's more Melt. of people go into the hell mouth and they do not leave it. I see. Yes, and they and they also, you know, the coming for the kids is they, the devil that lives inside of the, or, you know, that is inside of the hell mouth is <clears throat> sins th beings to collect for him right it's kind of a snatched in the night situation i'd imagine yes this isn't the portal that just closed is it no in fact that was hopefully going to um that was that was a part of the that was actually a request made by this entity um very complicated politics being a pirate you uh... <laughs> 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 You're part of the pirate party, I see. Yes. Uh, you, it, you were maintaining a portal for the for the for the devil. Yes, it was um letting in uh, these beings uh, so that dream uh, destruction could happen. Um, right. Yes, dream meters, so that destruction could happen within this world. As um the more chaos there is, the more de yes. desire there is for power and order, and so it was a more, you know, an investment of sorts. Could we... That's disgusting. Could we possibly... Uh, could I'm we here to maintain, not... Uh, reverse, not, yes, yes. Not you, just, just the, the devil. Not you. No. Is there a way we could reverse engineer the portal we blew up? Can we get back in? Let, you know what? We I'm don't want to go in that portal. Like... <laughs> We could take Let, a look at it. Let's talk Maybe to we could guy. just get a get a really good lawyer. <laughs> let's to talk I to the devil's lawyer, the de the devil's <laughs> advocate. Uh, they could talk. I... Do you know what? Do you know any lawyers? No, I don't even know what that is. Uh, you don't know could, any, any uh, you know we representative? Know union representative. Be, uh, we do. You can tell. I don't know if Kai guy. knows about the. Uh, oh yeah, you're lawyer. right. I I know a lawyer. Obviously, <laughs> Aaron. My brain is screaming. Get the bat lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> but, I'm trying to. Okay. Well, Aaron's brain would say my brother's a lawyer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kai's brain says get the bat lawyer. <laughs> and the moon boy in the corner says, "I know a lawyer." <laughs> Very quietly. <laughs> what? We I like know, to I know a lawyer. So what, I mean, what, I, I have to tell the city something. People are already worried when they heard that the captain fell. When... What if good, what if we made Goliath in the captain? Sure. Just for the I time mean... being, 
And then we go into the Hellmouth. We talk to this guy. What's his name? Do you know a name for him? The man oh, who no. supposedly went in and came out. I've never spoken to him, and I hope it, to keep it that way. Can you find him? I just refer to him as the Keeper, because he is the Keeper of the Hellmouth. Um, so functionally, we refer to him as the Keeper. But, is um, that devil? Oh, who do oh sorry, I, I got confused. You're talking about the one person who has been in and come out. Yes, the person the who went in and came out. Yes. yes. We definitely um, want to talk him. to them. Is the devil who lives in the Hellmouth the entity with whom the deal was made? Yes. That's interesting. It is interesting. We would like, I, I think, to talk to the person who's entered and come back. I think so too, but I think this, uh, and this is, this is, hi guys, this is Jordan talking? Um, I don't know, I that, think... that didn't sound like the Jordan voice. <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's not what Jordan sounds like. Drag him. Um, I think, I mean, what do you guys want to do? I this, this we got to name a captain, and it's so easy. We just ask, like, just ask her life, and if he wants to be. But what if we, we would be dooming him to some horrible fate by doing so? I think we need it, to stall. Excuse me, Whipper, is there? Would we be dooming someone to a horrible fate if we, if we named them the captain? Would they be somehow promised to this devil? Oh, most definitely. Okay, well, we're not doing a captain then. Okay, well, then prepare think for, thing, for, for great evil to come at night. That's we nice. will we we will prepare for that. We will Just prepare for that. For the time being, I think we tell people everything. We're working on it, and we will. We need to talk to you, your friend, and figure out what to do. Well, Whipper, who who would be next in line? Normally. Uh, we'd usually have a, um, sort of like a, uh, well, there would be, the, the volunteers would be someone close to him, so Rucker or Muffin would be first up. Um, <laughs> Captain as they were Muffin in. for sure. <laughs> um, uh, Muffin and Rucker would be first up. If uh, they were both to be deceased as well, there would sort of be a, um, a volunteer group conversation thing. So I suppose kind of we like could ask them. The toughest and the brightest. Tell them what if we just about the devil situation. It would buy us some time. Hmm. I mean, if we're going in to free the the cove from the devil situation, naming a captain that would be damned to hell would be a moot point because we're going t to solve that. I believe. Maybe. Uh, may maybe. Or we could name like an interim bogus captain, just find like a goat. <laughs> goat something uh, like goat, oh no, goat the Goliath looks over. What? Not you, goat, like oh, an actual mm, goat. Like oh. Find, oh, like a go find like a goose. I don't want to be a captain or a devil. We don't want you to be a I, captain. I, okay, I don't think devil. Don't being worry. a devil is on the table. That's good, because um, I'm very sweet. I support the goat idea. Not you, goat. Again, yeah. but just like, uh. Maybe it's I mean, I, can, can, I don't think they can be tricked quite that easily. <laughs> I don't think Catholic. we could be like, think... it's, no, he, it's right. Butters. <laughs> He's the captain. I don't yeah, think that's. Well, we I could have to put say. A I, hat on a barrel. I, I only. Ma I didn't. I didn't think I, the goat solution would solve the entire problem, more just that it might buy us yeah. a night without any children I think, being stolen. I think Moonboy loves it so much that he sets about building a decoy captain. Perfect. I have to say, okay. Whipper says, I've overseen a lot of transitions between captains, and I haven't tried a decoy before. We, we've had the see, rebellions, see, we've see. had the um, kind of altruistic and the um, evil but intelligent uh, I've had a wide variety of trying to find solutions for us to not just be destructive entities, and the best we could find is just to be generally greedy, malicious pirates, as we had our kind of thing going before. Um, trade has worked well for us in a balance, but I've never had um, a decoy. I don't. I don't know what happened. I it's coming along pick, great. He's put he hair was. on a on a mop. There's That's glasses, how you get there's sunglasses on it now. That's how you get a hyper powerful devil goat <laughs> idol. <laughs> For sure. Oh, truly. Uh, <laughs> Alright, just real That's quick, an option. can you just real quick, can you do a um 
uh, a dexterity check to see here how good your ca- your decoy captain <laughs> looks. Absolutely. Shout out to Case who in in the yeah. headphone here was like that should I think that should be a roll and I think that's a check. That's very yeah. right. Yeah. So. Completely guidance. correct. Yes, thank you. I I use guidance because I can't help but futs with it. I just <laughs> sure. can't help myself. As you all are like, having this serious oh, horrible God. invention and you're like, yeah, but better <laughs> hair though. Kai is just I mean, he's not paying attention, he's just got one arm or he's straightening okay. straightening wigs. Well the moon boy has rolled uh a nine with with the guidance. It was a five okay. on oh the boy. dice. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this looks like a thing bad. that this looks like a uh, one of those Christmas presents that they have you make in kindergarten. It's like a can, yeah. um, uh, a, yeah. you know, made up as a Christmas tree or Santa or something. It is it primarily looks... cans, I think, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, and like a, a bad coat and maybe a tooth on there with yeah. gum. That's like, yeah. where did the tooth come from? And he's very <laughs> proud of it. I think this is gonna work, you guys. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Uh, Click will use Mage Hand to wave its arm back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's like, it's like the I would follow this guy, right? <laughs> I don't. It's I, don't a, it's, it's I think a potential it goat would work better. <laughs> All right, we're going to leave this here in case we need a decoy captain at some point. Perfect. A decoy decoy captain. A decoy decoy captain. We'll go look for the old what double just decoy. Talk to Muffin and say, hey, you're in charge for now, but that doesn't mean go pirating. That means we're going to try and do something about this. I mean, I just think that if we want to break the cycle of this place, we're going to have to yeah, you can't name find a way to really throw a red, like, we can't just designate a captain because then that's what they want. I, right. so I feel like we either need to have a reckoning with this devil, either get a real good lawyer, or fight them, yes. or maybe we can bide some time with, uh, nothing's off the table, I just, I think we need to talk to this We guy really first. can't have a pirate political lawyer debate without our <laughs> pirate bard. We're just missing no, <laughs> we're I, just we can't, missing exactly whatever we do, what we it's not, we're not doing it in the next 30 minutes. We're going to just yeah. try uh, and figure it out. Yes. <laughs> but um, we've like, got a pirate bard flute scene missing. Flute? Yeah. <laughs> the, I think he's uh, in the bathroom. <laughs> um, he's in inside Chad, the Chad barrel really that we're rooting. decorating. <laughs> Chad is really rooting for Relic to be the pirate captain. Oh, <laughs> oh my so god. I, guys, I just had an idea. Let's, let's ask Relic if he wants to be the captain. He okay. could be a little bad. He's always wanted to be the captain and like... Little bad evil guy. But then what, what? if he gets possessed by horrible demons? Here's the we problem. Yeah. He's already whoever, been possessed. We can't possess him again. I, I think whoever we ask to be the captain, we've got to lay it all on the table, man. We've got to be like, look, there's a devil, and we're trying to pull the wool over his eyes. Could you be a captain for a couple of days? And we don't tell them about the last negotiations with the devilish guy and how they went. I, th- we hope I think we just out. we just need to know more. Yes, we need to talk. To That's them. the next step. We need sure. to learn as much as we can about this. We have to find yeah. him. We gotta well, find I'm, a guy. I'm kind of the, yeah, we can find the guy, and I will get him for you, but if there are more um, general questions you have about it, the guy is definitely going to take me some fine and find It's our guest next week. <clears throat> um, so, <laughs> yes. yes, we need to find so, It's going to take us approximately 28 minutes to find. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, well, you get out there and find the guy, I suppose. Go find the guy. We will we'll watch for... Or you can stay here for the next 28 minutes and we can we will talk. Wa- Listen, <laughs> we will watch for... for repercussions. Okay, well, good we luck. Um, if, you know... I, I need to know... Are you all going... 
into the Hellmouth before this evening? Or are you all, uh, should I let the town know to hide their kids? Definitely uh, hide your kids, to... hide your wife. Hide your kids. Okay. Your wife. Um, and this is the captain. His name's... B- B- Barry. B- 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 Barry. 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 Wonderful Barry. And, uh... The moon boy waves his arm in a sign. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're pointing at the moon boy's weird hum- uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> coffee sure. can homunculus cat. Yeah, he's built. you're just like he's very that, self-conscious about his looks. No one look that, at him. That now has another tooth in the piece of gum on the face. Where are these teeth yeah, coming from? <laughs> um, I guess we could take click, a look at the click, mouth. Uh, click checks her her tooth bracelet that she wears to make sure that she's not losing teeth. <laughs> yeah. They're all still on there. Yeah. Um, and none <laughs> of her other... children have been come for yet. Yeah. Tooth. <laughs> Is that canonical? Does just click view oh, yeah. of the teeth that hang from her necklace as her children. I have, I have no, no. He's he. Moon boy is steel is has teeth that he's adhering to this creepy thing. Yeah. She just wants to make sure she's not losing them. I thought yes. that I I misheard that and I thought it was related to you like like hide your kids and you were oh like, no yeah, I was like protect my children. Teeth. Okay, sorry. No, she just wants uh, to make sure Moon boy is not taking her bracelet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. no, um, these are loose. These are other teeth. Don't ask about it. <laughs> Uh, Whipper goes, do you want me to do the... I have the captain's oath that I, I know how to do if you want me to do it on the... Should we do it on the dummy to see if that works? I think we should wait, right? How much time do we have? Well, we have to do it today. Yeah, you have about, like, I don't know, eight hours until the sun goes down? All right, let's wait. Right? You want to wait and talk to Muffin? I mean... No, I, I think yeah. we need to wait and talk Until to the, sun goes down. the per. No, we need to wait and talk to the person who has been into the Hellmouth and returned. Okay. And we need to wait for Flute to get out of the bathroom. And in the meantime. <laughs> and not simply... potentially set anything in motion that can't be undone easily. But, with but a we deal. are. Oath. We are doing that. We. We're not though. Th- they come tonight. They come tonight, guy. Right, we have, don't that's, in eight, eight, that's in eight hours. Harlan, is there is is the guest next week in the Hellmouth or on the island? In the on co- the island. Yeah. Okay. If if, if night no, comes, Whipper then would we also... will deal. We we have some time. That's all I'm saying. We don't have to make the decoy the captain right now in case that unleashes a bunch of demons or something. Okay. Then even then, we are making a choice. We choose not to name a captain today. We must mobilize. We have to be on the lookout for, de- for devils, I suppose, if we are right. to be believed. I mean, at the very least, not to name a captain right now. We can do it at 11.59 if we need to. <laughs> That's a good point, honestly. You know, he's if, right. If, These if devils we can... are all laws and litigations. He's... It's true. They're very timely, very punctual, devil. This is true. You gotta go union every time. I <laughs> think, yeah, we just have to wait and try to I learn as wait. much as we can. Okay. Don't. Well, I will tell. I will tell the township that they um, will get. A, you all are deliberating. Tell them there steps. is. Tell them there's no captain, but they are not without leadership, and uh, we are. We will do our best to protect the cove from whatever devils might assail it because okay. of this choice and uh, also tell them hi from me. Okay. Whipper, I, I will tell them all of that directly. Thank you. We could uh, go and... Uh, go ahead. What do you... No, if it is, if yours is more on topic, go, go ahead. Oh, I, I was just I was, going to... Sorry. Nope. <laughs> I, I was going to... I was going to ask... Whipper, what she thought of uh, going pirateless. So, it's, oh. uh... my interest is to maintain the home that is the cove. I um, have gone along with this uh, fiendish pact of sorts for as long as I have been here because I 
have gone against it and um, have seen the futility of that. But um, I don't get involved with anything but maintaining what is here mm. so that I can take care of the people that are here as well as I can. I have a family here, and I wish for there not to be destruction upon those that don't deserve it. If you all are heroes and want to um, fight that, just let it be known that it is you all, y'all's decision and not um, the will of the people. As the well, we're not hero. We're not heroes. We're and Kai looks directly into the camera, and then <laughs> everything goes to static. <laughs> uh, for what it's worth, Whipper, yes. you sound like a good captain. <laughs> well, thank um, you. I, I I wanted to just make sure we get the logistics on what the actual requirements of this deal is. By like, what do you mean by treasure? What do you mean by soul? How is that delivered? Great question. Are you sure you're? You would be a detective, click asking the important details that um, <laughs> or could yeah. be too. I would also, you know, yeah, uh, click. Maybe yeah. you could be doomed to hell. <laughs> um, <laughs> she says, uh, the more people that live here, it's kind of a spot for cast off folks for folks without a home a home for those who feel lost and um allowing them the life of f frivolity but also abundance uh through the means of piracy often you know is both rewarding but comes with the cost comes with some sort of uh dissolving and the hell mouth feeds off of that so it, it's, it's not me everyone who is here is damned it's more of um a siphon for those who wish to be and um so it feeds on shenanigans <laughs> you are you're a poet too a captain a poet and a lawyer who knew uh it's okay. hungry for so, shenanigans. <laughs> and um, my, that's why my oldest, she uh, makes such powerful magical items in hopes that um, feeding those into the Hellmouth will cut out the piracy, you know, as we are due to sacrifice valuable items. Sure, so that's the treasure side. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Both are cast, you know, those are cast into the Hellmouth itself. Whoa. Okay. I don't know how everyone feels, but I think we should try to break this cycle. It sounds like a pretty, a pretty bad deal. I guess you that's... don't just stop pirating, like, without repercussions. And it I mean, would be good can... to have... If we can replace the the treasure, like, um, gonna have to look up her name again. Cream Keen. Keen. Keen got Keen. there. Uh, Inspiration with, gone. Taken away. Ah. No, no, no. Uh, I got there. I didn't even see it by by the time I said Keen. Uh, if if we can replace the theft with industry like Keen so inspires that fulfills one side of this bargain right? Seems to surely but what if we did that without it all going to a devil sure well, I mean I ideally mean, I mean maybe maybe can... that's not possible I don't know I don't know I, don't, I guess at the end of the day it doesn't matter, matter who it goes to as long as it's not hurting people I think we, we need to ta change that dissolving situation. Where Turn that upside down. Yeah, the is... consequences for an off work day should not be dissolving. Right. <laughs> right. Um, Again, a the... great lawyer you would make. I would say. Uh, these, people's, these people's labor should enrich the people who live here, not some devil. Yes, they don't sure. need to rely on this ancient pact made by, you know, who knows 
when what situation they were in, but it doesn't apply anymore, and we're not doing devils anymore, so well, let's go talk to them. That's wonderful. That's why Shark Beef was here, to um, enforce a bit of that. There are, that was um, nerve-wracking, so uh, I have to say, I'm not complaining about the, that Gith Yankee being gone, but be on the lookout, because I've seen him die a few times. Uh-oh. No, he said he was going to be back. He did say that, but, didn't yeah. he? Well, all right. We well. gave him a few more. <laughs> Okay, well, um, can I answer any other questions for you about the ancient pact with the uh, eternal being that I've been facilitating for a, a good chunk of my life, or do you all is feel there a, Is there a copy of this pact anywhere? Yes. Yeah, or is it straight verbal? Deal? Can I read this? Sure, I can. I can, can I have uh, my lawyer look at it? <laughs> I can, it's Not written in blood. Idea. Uh, um, you know, Naturally. surprisingly, I know, to, you know, it's, it's I, fine. even I thought that was a little heavy handed, not, but I can, not really, I, that would be like the first thing I would think for a devil contract, right? Oh, okay. Well, yeah. glad, I'm glad you feel good about it. Uh, but yeah, I can, I can bring that to <laughs> Maybe you. they ran out of ink. Yeah. Blood is yeah. free. <laughs> it's, it's environmentally friendly. It's. Green. Sustainable blood. Mm. <laughs> oh man. Uh, um, okay, cool. Okay. I'll pitch for the new industry of the cove. <laughs> blood ink. <laughs> for all I mean, your. Every, everybody chips in a little bit. Nine <laughs> yeah. yeah. blood. <laughs> um. Cool. So you want to see the contract? You want to find the person who has been to the Hellmouth and back? And, uh, and is want, there anything else kind of like that Whippers... I, think that, I guess I think we very like, specifically, yeah. we need to kind of mobilize what limited forces we have to act as a guard for the town. Maybe even talk to Muffin and... Uh, Rucker. Rucker and see if they want to start making good now. And, uh, you know... <laughs> Round up, round up the toughies and tell them it's, that we're pushing back once again. Okay, cool. Yeah, I mean, Whipper was pretty specific about uh, not involving the town members to keep the right. wrath off of the town members, but right. if you okay. want to take a swing at Muffin and Rucker, I am, I'm very down for you all to do that. Yes, I think that's cool. fine. Um, cool. Um, so people, I mean, there are resources <laughs> again, that if you want to like... without our bard. Right, yeah. Um, but hey, I don't know if you were like I thought about coming and hanging out with us for a little. No, okay. <laughs> Get out! I'm busy. <laughs> I'm in Somebody the bathroom. Text. Somebody text Andrew. <laughs> yeah, can, hey, can you do a quick charisma check for us? So we need it. Um. <laughs> I mean, it's true. It's true. It's very funny that like the one time uh, you missed Rachel, they were like about to be in like one of the biggest fights ever that they have done, and the one time that Andrew's missing, it's like all of these charisma checks kind it's, of come out of nowhere. We're doing like um, pirate debates. And it's like yeah. his mm-hmm. dream episode. <laughs> yeah, we're like we need a pirate captain where can we find a pirate <laughs> captain and he's just fucking he's in the bathroom in the, screaming grimacing in the bathroom trying to, yeah trying to pass um, a pirate stone trying to pass a barney stone <laughs> <laughs> oh my god yeah he got one boot strap. better than heroes <laughs> He got one. He got one sleeve of his coat caught in the weird fucking portal toilets we <laughs> made cannon. <laughs> he can't get free. <laughs> oh my god. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> we, need have, we need to have people have some more often. This is a lot of fun. <laughs> we should. Uh, yeah, we should record these. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, we gotta recover. <laughs> oh man. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. Okay. We're back. Okay. We're good. Okay. I, I We're can. Fine. Do that. I have to not look We're at good. you all for like a second. Okay. We're good. Uh, okay. So Whipper is cool to kind of go on her her missions that she's been given and report back to you all. Yes. In the evening time. If she, if you're good with her taking off, she's gonna take off and go about the time and town and be like, all right, we'll see how this one goes and um, waddle off the ship, and no dawdling, just waddling, and um. Uh, once she's gone, uh, you know, the crew is kind of like, I mean, the cobble's scurrying down. She's like, oh, yeah. it's like, it's like asking you all about what's what goats. Like, oh, oh, oh boy. Oh, and Relic's like, <laughs> I knew it was going to be fine. And, um, Talon pulls, uh, you aside, click and goes, sit up, stop. It's it's a helm. I don't. I, I I still don't know much about it. I don't. I don't know what you want me to say. Ooh, roll a deception check. As I will as well roll a contested one here. <laughs> Let's see it. Let's see it. You've already you see, Harlan. I I must remind you. You still have that twenty in there. Oh, I do. Okay, I'm gonna get that. Glaring one. at you. us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, get another one up here. Let me... Um, so, yeah, what did you roll here? Click, and then I'll well, roll the I... Uh, check. So, inspiration is an additional D8. What is it? What no, is inspiration, inspiration is you... D4. You can roll twice. Um, you get no, advantage. Twice? Oh, yeah, inspiration. Yeah. inspiration. Yeah. I have inspiration. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you were thinking of bardic inspiration. Yeah, yeah. you can yeah. You can spend it's just a, your it's inspiration. It's just a... I will roll just again. Just gives you advantage, yeah. Yeah, you can spend the inspiration point to get a... Christ almighty. Oof. Twelve... Right. Ooh! Yes! Ooh. Um, that is a four on the dice. Uh, and she looks at and goes, "Huh? Well, if you don't know, then we'll just have to keep guessing. Uh, I'll have to figure it out. Maybe I can get in there sometime and see it soon." She says, kind of like looking at you, and goes. No, I guess we'll I'll hang out until then. We'll, we'll keep you posted. <laughs> she says, okay. I trust you all. That's what, that's, like I said, I trust you all. Um, and Hi! Kind of <laughs> <laughs> yes. What? Yes. How? Hello. Are you okay? I need an adult. <laughs> <laughs> Kellen um, wants yeah. to know Kyron's what to help, and I don't know what of... to tell her. <laughs> oh, she wants to know. Oh, I don't know. What do we do? Do we lie? Do we tell the truth? Well, I already mm. lied, but we can tell the truth later. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Great option. Great option. It's yeah, nice we, option. <laughs> we, we, we're biding our time. We can either lie again or tell the truth. She's, she but said then she if we lie again. Break in, she said she was going to try and break into the bedroom. What if she finds the helm? Maybe we should just tell her. I'm, if she, I mean, if she gets in there on her own, and God knows what's gonna happen. Who knows what will happen? That thing could annihilate her. Do you see the? Yeah, I, I, see the brow ridge on that thing? She could kill the captain to get in there. We don't know what she's what length she's willing to go to. I think if she could, I think. I mean, I if she thinks she the captain, she, she saved thought him. she was acting to try to save the world. That's true. How far? Listen, let's. How far would she go? Let's talk to Muffin and. What? They don't know Talon. Yeah, what? <laughs> I know about. I oh, about to talk to him. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And just. We'll figure I mean, this out it, later? Unless you think we need to nip this in the bud right now. I. Maybe. I think if we give her another night on the ship, she's she's gonna investigate. Uh, you're right. Like, I know we're dealing with a portal to hell here, but, uh... All right. Get it back over here. What do we Talon. do? Talon! Ha! Ooh, yep. Hello. What's the move? What are we doing? Burning down the town? I'm against it. 
We you sound excited energy. for it. We had energy right, yeah. off of you today. Yeah, never, never, never mind. <laughs> uh, no. No. Uh, if... I... It's a synapse helm. Oh. Oh. She looks at you, Click. What? They said, they said, uh, Click didn't... I... Click didn't know, so we asked Kai, and he says it is. Mm. Roll a good check. listener. <laughs> For me? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yikes. Now, this is good. I love this thing. I love that Click would, like, would stumble over this moment. Because, I mean, they had oh, a yeah. conversation no about idea. it before. Like, yeah. what? And ah! Then, and then she, she's having to make this cut. Like, that's kind of like Talon's kind of cornering her intentionally a little bit. So, oh, yeah, for good. sure. For sure. Mm, yeah. 15. Um, 15? Ugh. Is that? Nope. Is it? Oh, that's a 17. That's a 17. That's yeah, a 17. Ooh. It's a 17. I can drag it over here because at that angle, it does not quite look like it, but it is a 17. Um, she looks at you all and goes, Why are you hiding it from me? I. I, I trusted you all. I, if it's a synapse helm, that's good. That means we have a key here. Um, a key to saving things. Why are you hiding it from me? She says, I'm looking at all three of you. It's not just some key for you to use to your ends. It is a being. It is an incredible being. Okay. He's... So it's he, true. They, they they can they can talk. His synapse helms. He can do so much more than talk. His his mind it's so complex. You have to understand, Talon, and I'm I'm sure you do. You know more about this thing than any of us, probably. But you're not the only one who wants to use it to save the world. And. You know, I want to help save the world, and I'm sure everybody wants to help save the world, but you can't have it. No one can have it, because it can't be had. Our, our captain has spent his entire life protecting and keeping this helm. To, to, it, it just can't be thrown back into the world. He's, all he wants is to adventure and learn and create things he's not a tool to be used he's a a friend it does seem helpful you could we could ask and maybe help but you can't have it you can't have it we want to help you we are allies and we are friends but well, it's as they said. You can't have it. Uh, let's have all three of you roll persuasion checks. Bless Bard. them. Uh, the light of the moon shines upon us. We are moon blessed in this moment. Ooh. Okay, okay. Uh, persuasion check we're doing? Yeah. Yep. Right, and I like this. I like this. Uh, the, you know, I can see the moon sometimes, even though it's daylight outside. I think that's where this blessing is. Oh, from. nice. Just, like, see oh, the absolutely. Nice. nice. Um, oh. As a uh, garden has many moons, and one of them you can see in this moment. All right, I, uh, let's roll down the list real quick. Of, uh, jo uh, Jordan, what did you get on the persuasion? I have rolled a natural 20 on my persuasion. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> That's some emotional dammies right there. Um, what did you get? <laughs> uh, what is that all together with your modifier? 22. Oh, wait, uh, sorry. Uh, nat 20, I have a zero persuasion, but I rolled with guidance. It was a 22. Okay, cool. And, and Rachel, what did you get? Uh, I rolled an 11. It was 14 with the, the blessing and then minus one for my <laughs> modifier. The 13. Right. <laughs> nice. Aaron? Uh, I rolled a 15 plus guidance plus two is a 21. All right. Um, she gets a uh, plus three on this, I believe. All right. Um, that's two successes there with a 13 on the dice. Um, so she looks at you and goes, okay, I've, 
I've adventured with you all long enough to know that just because I disagree with your decisions doesn't mean they are wrong decisions. And I want you all to trust me as much as I trust you. So, if it is okay with you, I think that means it's time for me to go. Um, I need to go check in with my sister. Uh, I need to tell the... And, and please know that I'm, I'm... I will only tell them what they need to know, but I need to tell the, the fourth ring that there is a synapse home. And you, you all can decide what to do with it later, but I, they just need to know as it is a, um, will give us hope and give us a bit of intel into what our next steps are. Not to control, just to have it participate with. And if you all feel good about that, then I'm gonna go. And she says, plus I, and she pulls out the little guidebook that uh, Chuz gave her. She's like, there's a few other folks I wanna have conversations with about interdimensional travel. We'll protect it from our enemies. If and you can will. protect it from your friends. We're on your list of allies. You know you can call us if you need us. Yes. I will I and Make will sure you to say you. goodbye to Flute on the way out. <laughs> <laughs> I... Deal. I will I'll wait till he gets done before just I ever knock on the, Just knock on the oh. door. He's he been in there a while. Buddy? It's, yeah. <laughs> See if he's stuck. Uh, bet, the worst part is, I'll bet uh, Flute's goodbye would be really good. It'd be really nice. I'll bet he'd she can, she can, She's not going to leave. She has to wait until the next day because... Um, yeah, yeah, just wait yeah. till tomorrow. Hey, yeah, just wait till she, tomorrow. She has to wait for that ship to come back, and that, that is her hope, is that that ship please, can be sent back in the direction that you came. Just she doesn't stick get... around long enough for Flute to get out of the bathroom. But I think we understand. Yeah. She's like, I'm no, no hard feelings. I will see you soon. I, you know, I will be around. I'm just saying, I have come for what I need. I have shared with you what I know, and I need to go on my own way to continue that. And I'll, I'll be back to you with information and probably and requests. But. And go with our, go with our blessings. And he, uh, the moon boy floats up on his shoes and he begins to glow as he does. He gives Talon a little kiss on the forehead, casting guidance on her. Ooh. And as wow. he's up there, right in her face, puts both hands on her cheeks, and he says, You can't have it. If you try to take it, we will protect it. She says, She raises up her mechanical arm, and she goes, Fair is fair. And thanks, that was the second best kiss I've got in the last few days. Great. Aww. It was the third for me. I bet um, I kiss a lot of things. Cool. And I think with that, um, we're going to call it. As if, if you all did not, um, yeah, did not make a mess of things without your, your bard. So, didn't uh, we? We didn't name a captain. We sort of, we the sort of kicked the can down the road. But yeah. <laughs> that's that's uh, not you know. That's not a bad punting. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> punting's not turning it over. You know, that was sports, right? <laughs> that yeah. was a sports. Stop! Game. You're gonna upset our audience. <laughs> <laughs> no wait, Come back. Sorry, chat. Sports. We're sorry. We're sorry. <laughs> that's not canon. I promise. <laughs> Okay, cool. Anybody else have anything they Holy want to do moly. before the end of the session? You can if you want to, but that's uh, feels like a good stopping point for me. I think that's a good. Mm -hmm. I think yeah, that's a good stop. stopping point. Um, you guys, what a fun! That was a good one. D and D contest we just had. Yeah. <laughs> How many rolls did we even make in that episode? Like three. That's a good so, one. Yeah. Very, 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 I, I built know, the dice box. I just I, I like I like games of D and D where you like barely roll the dice. Yeah. Super cool. I but yet it feels like so much happened. charisma checks. And <laughs> I know! <laughs> a lot. Like five. Like a lot yeah. today. Um. It's fucking <laughs> flute shouting advice through the urinal door. <laughs> no, urinal. look him in the eyes. Not like that. <laughs> uh. <laughs> You're blowing it. <laughs> 
I know. This is like me every every time I've read like a job interview tips. You know, they're always just like <laughs> right. And they translate through my brain are me are just bonkers. Reject the first offer. Have a seat. Up yours. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I, guys, I've been playing D&D for five hours now today, Damn. and I want to keep going. <laughs> uh, it's the best. That's but I should probably sign. get up and hydrate. Um, I just want to tell you all how much I love playing D&D with you. If Andrew yeah. was here, I would tell him as well. Uh, but what a delight yeah. this has been. Also, please check out, just before this, on Mondays, 5 p.m., twitch.tv forward slash werewolf underscore radar it's a werewolf radar twitch channel we play a little game called steak night which is 5e curse of strahd with a bunch of uh rough and rowdy boys over there and uh 30 vine lights 30, 30 vine lights and it was all uh druids behind it curse of strahd is very counter. cool it's really and, good uh, exciting so if you too would like to play five hours of dnd like me and see the whole process. Check that out. That is the one thing I wanted to plug for me. Cool. Uh, um, before next week, make sure you check out all of Dan's stuff. He's got a very exciting... Uh, it, it's a choose-your-own-adventure game about being a wolf in the big city. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's hilarious. You're a wolf. You're a graphic designer. You take the train to work. It's in great. It's great. Um, so check all of that out uh, and get excited for next episode. Uh, before we go, we got to do our shout out to Big Top Productions Big Top. Uh, for making True. this all possible. Um, and one more thank you to Jason Wardell, who's been live soundtracking all evening, crushing it. Beep, beep, beep. So good. And to Case Drury of Tiger Moon Productions, who is always oh, on top of moon. putting the hats on uh, oh, whatever on we need him to do. Uh, like a. <laughs> Lightning fast with the quick as the tiger, hats. bright as the moon. Um, yeah, and thank you guys for watching. This is uh, you know the we light of you. the week. So we uh, we'll you. be we back love next you. week. We kiss you. Yeah, come join our Discord. Like Discord. Hello. We'll, we'll shout about too. psionics like the mind of a contemplator. Um, and uh, tomorrow, um, I am going to be playing with. Andrew on Stream of Blood as Andrew's yes. going to reveal, he's going to show off uh, oh yeah, you're, we get to play together. Oh, that's so great. And Jordan. Um, um, yes. Wait, is it all three of us? Yes! Harley. Yes. <laughs> Andrew, didn't, Harley. Andrew didn't tell me who was playing so I was yes. sorry. Harley. <laughs> um, I had a busy day today. I'm very uh, excited to play I my character that. for that game. I'm more I'm excited about it. your character than I am about my character, and that needs to change. So join the Discord and help me build a yeah, character. Let's, for let's, it. let's talk about it. And Andrew, and it's Andrew's game that he made himself. I've, yeah. I've been playtesting it with him. You all playtesting it with him. Yeah, it's we, fucking incredible. It's so good. Duster's it's a incredible. Apocalyptic like Western been, game. It's so yeah. good. It's like Mad Max meets Fistful of Dollars. We've been playtesting it for months now, and it's yeah. so much fun. Yeah, it's gritty uh, and nasty. Our, our big and, game uh... had a giant TPK recently, <laughs> yep. and the game is so good that the TPK was like a really interesting tie-up of our story arc. And, Whoa! Uh, yeah, it was <laughs> that rules. so good. There is Aaron, a I... slim chance they're going to have to push it, because as you, you noticed... Uh, yeah, Andrew's Andrew is twirling through the negative zone at, at present. Yeah, but either tomorrow we'll or Wednesday. Keep, and we'll uh, posted. Aaron, I'm playing Koala. I'm playing the character you've oh, seen nice. before, who's yeah. uh, a real, a real uh, lovable guy who's not very bright. Has one giant arm, so I'm very. <laughs> I love um, that. Yeah. So. Cool. That's it uh, for this week, y'all. We'll, we'll see you next week. Come check us out on Stream of Blood this week, and we'll see you next week with some more Spelljammer action. Bye, guys. Bye. Later. Bye, Have fun. Stargazer, moon boy, click the crusher, Kai, and the and the wind rider, flute, whim teaser. They're better than heroes. <laughs>